and we're away. Gamba gonna be starting things out on the attacking side and Ascend on the defensive side and Nats. We know this man is a genius. He's had some of the best performances we've ever seen on a stage like this. On the other side two phenomenal players as well. So a tentative start here from both sides. And looking for a little bit of aggression on the side of A-Main. The Trailblazer are actually going to force back Starzo. Lucky not to get caught in that stun. Bone Cold ready with the paranoia, though. This could be big. Does it really swing back in? He, Starzo was ready. He fell back a little too far to capitalize on it. I feel like they almost had the answer to that. But actually, it's still somewhat even between the two here. But mid-control has been garnered. It's crazy, actually, that nobody falls in that engagement or the, the trade-off there. Nats peels away from A-Main, I think, feeling a little bit of that pressure. Starzo has so much pressure coming his way, and same with Killers though. If you look at if this keeps going its way, it's going to be a little bit of a fake out maybe towards that A site. And look where the spike is though. Look where Nats is going to be leaning. Bone Cold tries to explore and loses his life for it. First blood drawn. Defo going to take that title, and Starzo once again just starts feeling that notion that someone's just seconds left. around the corner. I think they're pausing for this flash here, so. Again, with Starzo playing so close, he might actually be able to find a kill ahead of no us. He will actually. They went ahead of it. He did a little bit of damage, but he still stand. And there's going to be Killers slipping away towards CT. He has to try and catch this cross, but the spikes could be on the site. He can't really deny that. It's a wide old flank coming in, too. Keep that in the back of your mind. Zeke is going to be on the maddest of flanks. Seen it up towards heaven. Gambit locked into the site, and you're right. This gives Zeke a chance, and he gets it with both hands. Looking for the follow-up, Shados. He was lower HP earlier on. Zeke, what a time to find form as Ascend. Looking like they want to send that message home. Ascend it here. First round on the board. Beautiful stuff. The timing there is so unfortunate. It's Chronicle that has to come forward with the spike. In that regard, they play such a thinking man's game. They play everything just, just to perfection. Very hard to find fault in their approach ever. You see that brilliance being a constant threat to some, but bear in mind that Ascend just have that. I don't know what it is. The willingness to just try and try again. It was going to try and isolate Nats here just very quickly. One day. He's going to be dealt with. No one else is around, though. So they will actually wall off, but we know. Gambit will now try and force their way through heaven. The power is oh. huge from Bone Cold. The first one gifted to him. Actually, we'll find a second. Well, Shados falls. Keeler's there to find another. Bro, it's, it's obviously key that he's then that late round piece for them. Aggression being shown by Zeke there. These one ways from Bone Cold always cause so many problems. It's just on these first angles in the early rounds, Conoco has to respect this. And look, defensive side of control, it's it's hard to not be impressed. They're going to sit by this. They have the Spectres and they have the set piece in play. It's so well crafted. Zeke gets away with Chronicle. Can't get the rifle, but that's more than enough damage. But you've got to look towards middle as well. Yes, the wall's still there, but for how long? And trying to contain Nats when he's got a rifle. Easier said than done. As again, Gambit, look for that next layer, that next step. Nats on his own is still keeping almost three players present towards that A side. They still have to respect his positioning. Defo's got himself tucked up into heaven. Here. You can see Starzo already invested the wall. We're here to greet the other side of it as it will start to decay pretty soon. Oh, no, Stars are with uh, actually take this engagement here. And the scary thing is Zeke's tucked in towards hell as well. So Stars can fall away, maybe yeah, exactly. sit like a little deeper, just be careful and not going to explore too deep on that. I'm looking at this man on the screen right there, Zeke. How much more can he get done from this? Actually gets dropped on, and Defo just bullies down Starzo. Yeah, Bone Cold's alive, but he's got a time limit on his life, and he knows it. Gets aggressive, and that's the spike. Hold on. Oh, Bone Cold. I thought that shot was coming in, but time. Ten seconds now. There's still danger. They have to facilitate that cross, and Defo is defending it with his life. Gets Nats towards the site. The spike goes in, and Killers is on the ground level now. planted. Yes, left of the defo for keeping cool under that, making sure that spike cross wasn't going to be a problem. There was a double stack towards heaven at the end of that. That could have easily been an issue, considering there was, what, like sub 15 seconds. But no, does very well in that. Well, also, I mean, in that regard, with Nats' utility invested elsewhere, it makes that cross even more treacherous mm. so late on. Poison's off. I was going to say now into the full bite, but there's still a spectre with Redgar. Well, this is where. I think I look towards Nats to achieve something over towards A main. Because mm. it's not really pressuring at all. Whether or not it will be, like I said, the, the mid follow up on that. 
Well, you need to find something because it's a, it's a huge investment to find nothing time and time again. Tina wanting to walk that. Almost trying to prop up Zeke in that corner. Bring all the attention his way. He's playing a dangerous game. Defo is sharp today. The TP comes out. There's a confirmation of information. But Gambit can still paint this picture however they feel. And it looks like they're going to actually convert towards an A hit. Trapper are actually a little deeper on rope, so of course some problems here. Zeke will pop the showstopper, try and find something in mid. He might actually find Red Guard inside ropes, he will! Red Guard was none the wiser. And now here's the problem, Ascend! Shut them down in the entryway! Defo could get in here eventually, how much can he do though? Ten seconds, it ain't much to find an answer to it. And readdress it, now we've seen in the past get it can happen in the blink of an eye. They flip a switch, they've got the answer, they're ready to go. Okay. This banks a little on Defo here in this round. Understatement potentially. He's got it all to work with. In the meantime, CNED gets aggressive, finds Chronicle, who's been a bit of the telltale sign, as you said. The Send happy to give up mid once again. That wall invested so deep on Heaven that the oh contingency in place for Ascend is just fantastic, and they're going to be able to greet this. Defo tries to get something done. Ascend giving Gambit so much space to work with, but it equates to nothing. Now they'll maybe get a spike plant, and that, I don't know how much beyond that. Let's see if there's anything interesting with the post plants all towards the back of the site, and Defo trying to be the tip of the spear. Try and greet them with a smile, do some form of damage, some semblance of hope to be found in this round for Gambix. They know this slow grind back is coming. Cena's found Red Guard down to Defo and joined by Shados. Anything else in the tank? How much more can you bring? The answer looks like a resounding nothing. It's four to one. Ascend rising to the occasion on the final map. Like I said, they, they give up that space. They're happy to put that focus onto A main because the, the, it's. Here. It's actually crazy to see how much they still have in this late round. Which is where Gambit flourish. They flourish in the late round. And any adjustments are what we're looking at now. Anything that Gambit can bring back out with these rifles by their side. Good purchase to play with. A couple of ults very close by to coming in. But again, defensive side of the aggression then. Happy enough to give up your trail. some part of mid control, but now without that wall in place is going to be a quick burst. Defo going to try and lead the charge, but eats the flash. It's not good. Bone Cold actually took a second or two to punish it, but he still does. Swing back in from Starzo, keeps his nerve. And now you can see the pinch coming in, but it's being dealt with to perfection by Ascend. Two players still have to try and get past Bone Cold. Still here! One bullet is all he needs. Three to spare. You got any more? He finally runs out. As there's the fall right now. And they're down to Spectres. Sheriffs. Gambit, we've told everyone time and time again, you guys always have a plan in mind. You're never quite done. And Bone Cold, though, puts himself on the line. There's so many players no behind shot. this wall. Bone Cold, you're surely going to get checked on. If no he gets in, Yeah, he did. Finally, Gambit, deal with him. That's the first step. And now the next layer, though. Can they still close in the gap here? CNED forced to respect this. So much utility invested. Nats with the ult comes in as well. KJ ult comes down. Zeke still stands. Starzo on the back of the site. The spray towards main. And the spike's been lost. Zero's going to try and recover this here. Starzo still back site. And Starzo stands strong again. 33 HP now. Oh, and the aim from CNED comes in. It's a sell. The alts are cycling so perfectly as well for Ascend. Now they've got plenty of extras to throw into the mix if they want to, but similar scenes. Bone Cold on the adjustment this time. Dog dealt with by Starzo. And he can keep getting weird now. The, the yep. fact that these rounds are going the way they are, Bone Cold can just <laughs> do Broman stuff. He, he, he can play spots like this. Another one way. Look out. I mean, Sean must be loving this on the desk because it is a lovely display, but. How much more can he do? Now, he knows that they haven't instantly sprung off the back of this. So there shouldn't be an over-rotation. That forward position should pay well here to maybe get the notion of what they're up to. It still looks like that 3-2 split towards B, but two players in middle here from Ascend. And Gambit, watch your answer now. You have the first pick, which you've not had often. Bone cold. I think they might have actually heard that. They're close enough to hear where... Close flash. Close enough, yeah, he eats it, but he doesn't pull the trigger. He sits and waits, and he's just going to be turned into mincemeat. Defo makes it look easy. Light work! What? Zeke still gets away with two. It's a 2v3. This isn't impossible. Gil isn't seen it up in heaven. 
drops down towards hell, looking for that pick. And oh, Killers gets one. A 1v2. Have they even noted seen it? It looks like they want to double face through by Pillar. And he's still going to keep his life for now. 22 seconds. He's doing everything he can in this scenario. Shados is low HP. Redgar still sitting pretty. Another fight! Oh! Read. Oh, and Cnet is just feeling it, quick as ever, just bottling brilliance. As now Gambit have to operate at the player deficit, investing the wall quickly oh. just to try and deal with it. Zeke blocks Defo out of the sky. Who are ascending? Where has this team been the entire time? Another example, they bait in, Cena takes that first peek, they think maybe there's one more layer behind this, the Sage wall goes up, and Zeke's there to greet any aggression on the back of it. Now they can pivot away. Gambit left scrambling for an answer. They might try and find something towards A here. But already Zeke preemptively rotating this direction. 3v5 for Gambit here. He's going cold and Zeke right. on the other side of this smoke, Lauren. And Gambit are desperate for this. They need a little more here. Give them some leverage and Bone Cold gives them nothing. Fades away, doesn't want to give up too much. Nats is now trying to close the gap, but he gets hindered on approach. And Bone Cold is just buying time, pulling rotations over. And Nats has been slowed down. He can't have the impact he wants to drop down. He gets it. Good work from Nats. Trying to create some space. Cena looking to save the void though. Ooh, and a bit of a miss and a half. Nats with the punish. If he has to do it single-handedly, he will. And that spikes on the way over. There's two players now towards watching this side. Z position noted. Starzo's timing. Storm. The, the blade storm. Sure. Way. Let's see it. Let's see if there's anything to this. And Defo just going to have to let it rip. Do any sort of damage. That's a great start. Huge impact from Gambit. And finally, they switch it up. Finally, they look for a new option. Leaving Starzo, Killers, and Cena behind on this one. Spike plant going to go down. Now they can invest that late round utility for the post plant. Both res difficult here for Starzo. They have to get some control back here. If they want to try and invest that. But also, they, they could just hold on. They could just make sure that everybody falls on the side of Gambit in this Eight. round. Yeah, they start to force back through, but the snake bike gonna slow things down there. Cned finds ahead. Oh, Cned, maybe there's still a bit of a chance on this one. Time is gonna be dwindling. There's the res coming in though. Red guard doesn't want this to happen. He's gonna find it's readable right now. Cover we have to wait and see what the look is. So much of the early rounds just giving up for free. At least a, a slight adjustment in formation here. Defo quickly through ropes and actually a deep lockdown. Cut off both heavens. And the alarm bot makes me feel as if they're going to drift towards B on the back of that. But the spike could be in danger. I'm waiting to see if they actually press the corner. Cned still finds Defo and the spike's gone down. Nats is on rotation. Cena needs to just fall away to the side. They won the fight. That was the integral one. Nats trying to keep it together. There's still another target out there though. And they're seeing it, still trying to connect towards heaven. He's trying to buy time, protect Starzo here, because Nats is desperate to get that spike back. And it's a battle on two fronts, as Nats is trying to play this patiently, allow time for the player Shados to come over. Couldn't adjust quickly I enough, but trial. still, good damage done. Seek is going to come out and seen it. Looks like maybe a little ahead of that. We'll give them an idea. Chronograph just brings on the back of it. Somehow finds Keyless and Zeke. Seen it. The last man standing for Ascend here. The Seeker will confirm it. <laughs> As they hightail it towards A. But another round, it's cost them so much on the way in. Ascend left. make it so difficult. You say it like CNED's not going to win this. Do you think he does? You ever seen CNED with nothing to lose? And a Blade Storm. Yeah. But Shados and Chronicle. Please Chronicle's close this been round out. <laughs> Chronicle has normally been the safe pair of hands. CNED doesn't care. He's crossed. Gonna double dip, have a little look. Yeah, turret no more. Poor old Tommy's gone, but it's probably gonna be Chronicle here with a shot to the side of the brain. Seems to be given a ropes. lot of freedom to move. One shot left in the mag. And no one noted early on. Blade Stormer's back up, drops down. Looks for the way across. Gets a glimpse and he gets the frag! And a player with nothing to lose. Seen it. Can you find it oh in the time? God. 11 HP. Draw him closer. He tries to pull him in. Chronicle. He's not going to fall for it. He holds his nerve. He's trying to give Gambit a window, a chance, something to play with. And Gambit will walk away at least with the bare minimum now to them. Bit of an adjustment here actually towards A main. The investment of the Vipers Wall and the Cosmic Divide. They might try and just get on and find this Vipers Pit.
Uh, Defo just going to throw his body it's on the line. Ruse. And you're right. Look at the spike. It's over towards B. And they've absolutely bitten on this as well. Almost all players coming over, barring oh, one. Thanks. Starzo lingering around that B side. Defo trying to really sell it on this. The Surely wall. they ask questions the now. The wall on B main, if they shoot that, that's going to tell us that oh, everything they need to know. Defo. Defo. Huge impact. Impeccable work. He sold them an absolute fake and a half. And Zeke going to try and close in with that judge, but it looks like it's done for. Gambit pull out the fake just as they needed it here. Well, I guess the success of all that conditioning, as soon as that adjustment comes on that A site hit with the Cosmic Divide, Ascend bite. And they're set on Ascend now, because they've seen this before. It's been done before. It's been done in this series to them before. They've given them enough room in their comfort zone on defense. There. Ascend are going to have to constantly be evolving throughout this half. <laughs> Confirmation there, at least, of early presence towards bottom mid. Gambit playing pretty deep here. You can see all of A main giving up. The utility going to make sure of that. And almost a willingness to fight for B male here. Yeah, Shadows needs to back away quickly because Defo got out of there. Now the flash comes in, going to be forcing them further back. And now the hit looks like it wants to filter on through. Fountain on down. It's going to be Defo who just gets Rover run. Uh, Bone Cold just straight up fights through him. What are these kills? Ascend. Just powerful in approach. Shados and Chronicle. Playing through from CT, but it's four to find. It ain't going to be easy now. Spike down the time in their side. Zeke looking for it. 100%. Now look at this interesting approach coming out here. Five play lean towards A and a five man stack down middle. Flash through. Nobody on the other side of it. <laughs> Send still. Close enough, actually, the Chronicle's utility will at least give away the information, but full sight control here. What do we have? Two sheriffs and a ghost. So, hey, there's, there's still a little bit of fighting. Gambit, a little bit of venom to the bite. <laughs> Starzo wants a cheeky little angle. He's still going to. Have a letterbox to shoot through. Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, that's a dangerous angle. And Chronicle actually connects towards him instead. That's actually kind of sick. And now you're going to have to see the rest of Ascend trying to fill that gap. There's Killers. There's Cnet. It's going to be shut down. Clean enough as Redgar, the last one to come around. Killers, the only one really with early progress towards an ultimate. Ooh, really aggression. Two players leading this way. And actually, Cnet bests Shados? They've got to know there's more as well. The wild oh, yeah. spray actually will claim CNED's life. But look at the response in kind. So it's quick. quick. Ropes. They're straight up through ropes. They really want to punish this. Maybe aggression or maybe players out of place. But no one's going to offer them a free kill here. And here's the swing. Red guard. This could be everything. Timing could be great. Actually, a decent trade for Starzo. Next in line. Oh, uh, Defo's gone down. And Nat is trying to keep eight. this together. The one player that's left is Killers. Rifle to hand and a CT push in mind. He knows where Nats is. Maybe a good step towards Chronicle. A fight on one. Aggression. We saw Shados lean towards. Maybe they feel it can be. They'll exploit it. And it looks like they're going to go straight in towards this. Isolate if they can. And Shados greets him with a smile. Sends Zeke right on back. Defo still trying to do the what? dance. And he comes out on top. And now just to make it one. Ultimates. Sheriffs across the border. Frenzy for CNED. Defo and Shados, once yep. again, they want to quell this early round. Good conditioning, too. Absolutely. Get it in their heads. That's going to be a constant factor to handle. And Chronicle just chilling on the site. Of course, Starzo has to walk through. Yes. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> and maybe Chronicle giving him a bit of a kindness. Just going to put him down quickly. That utility is rife on this site. <laughs> Well set up. He's read it so well. He knows what's around that corner. Couldn't quite get the utility in that he wanted. So now Heaven's a little bit more vulnerable. Calls Chronicle's attention, but he still deals well enough with killers. Couldn't quite do much more. Has to be cautious of other players coming in through main, but that's not the case. The rotations are here. Everyone's in attendance. It's just bone cold all alone. That's one. Any more would be a miracle on 27 HP and a bit of a dream. That's it's it's actually disgusting. It's how do you get past it? How, like, what are you meant to do? And now you add this into the mix. Okay, well, mid's suddenly a little less available. And that's a giveaway that he's here, but he's still... Wait, what? what? Zeke wins that? Yeah, everyone's going back to mid. They're like, oh. 
Oh, mid what? Okay, that, that changes how this round plays out. Mid's suddenly available and these rotations exactly are getting cut off from each other. There's the Owen Vista so they know exactly where these players are going to be waiting. Defo, got to be careful now. There could be something waiting down those depths and there is. It is CNED. However, it is a look towards that B side, but we know the utility setup is good from Chronicle. But can he keep it in check? Yes, he absolutely can. Defo by his side finds Zeke. And now Chronicle want to get aggressive on this, but look where the spike's going. It's heading straight towards A. Defo being positioned here almost has a good idea of exactly what's going on. Starzo does have the res, but as we can see on the minimap, none of those attainable right now. They're getting aggressive. Uh, they have to. Gamba have the man advantage here, and they have the lockdown. They need to prevent that from being used here. Defo knows it, though, keeping this in the forefront of his mind. Showing attendance, Starzo sprays him wildly, he gets one! Red God's fallen, and now they back away. That's what they wanted. They wanted that one pick, and now they could have unleashed. Starzo playing by Pillar looks towards heaven. There's that lockdown coming on through. What do they do with this? Ten seconds. This is so late, though. You're not wrong. This is wrong. Oh, see that you're playing with fire, and Defo's going to punish Starzo, though. Back of the side, back to the wall, quite literally. And he's got to be careful. Isolates one, and now the 1v1. He loses out to Defo, but the timing is all theirs. Ascend. And now the pressure goes right towards Gambit, in my mind. Yes, yep. they had an answer for a couple of rounds, but they know look the money's the coming slower. to an end. And yeah, you're, you're bang on your yeah, Killer's invested his, but look beyond that. Everyone else is getting theirs coming through now. Defo looking to be proactive towards middle, though. And seeing that's already threaded a little early, getting ahead of this. You think even if Gambit win this, the, the next round leans in favor of Ascend, even if it's an eco. Pretty so head sure presented there, Defo has to dash away. Yeah. The risk reward may be tilting towards the risk side as we look towards this B piece again, though. The rotations are correct from Gambit. They're going to have their players here. They're going to probably have four players in attendance and Defo trying to push up. He's got... This is awkward. Red the flash here, through. Flash, and it's going to be a delayed push. Wait, what? Zeke and Starzo deny Defo and Redgar's aggression. Zeke takes the sight. He's got the showstopper in hand. He's looking for any target, and he finds one. Nats is obliterated, and the sight is now going to be under Ascend control. Spike surely to be planted, and Shados and Chronicle can say nothing in this matter. Shados does find killers. But is there a world in which they can even find an avenue? No way. No way, they're out. <laughs> they're out. They have to be. This is a send on 11. Like I said, the next few rounds are huge. Even if Gambit won out this one, you look at the ultimate stack and it leans heavily in favor of a send. But Gambit try and be decisive. They try and take the initiative. I, I think the flash just slightly off there behind the smoke because no one was blind. There's a real, there's a real possibility of, of, of that ultimately just being a two for two trade. But like you yeah. said already, the rotations come through. Gambit got the right people in the right place. And Ascend, four survive, that's huge as well. It's almost forces Gambit another win or another buy round to remove. Three Spectres, two rifles. But you're right, this is the buy that we have to look at. This has to stop Ascend's build back into this if you want Gambit to close back into this game. And I feel like it was inevitable they'd be able to get there, but now Cened instantly puts himself in this. Redgar on the back lines looking to do damage, but it's just a Spectre. As much as he can try and fight, it's still not much to bring through. Chronicle only good for one. And Nats with the Spectre again still tucked in the corner. Cened, he falls and Nats still stands. I don't know how Nats just won that with the Spectre versus Cened in that range, but Defo also going to find Bone Cold. We're going to get ahead of this. Keyless will respond though. A 2v2 presented. Keyless gets tagged up. They're digging in so deep right now. Stop. With it comes down to this ascend a one round away now. Gambit, everything they could purchase. Two rifles, a bulldog, and two specters. Light armor as well. It's not pretty, but Gambit are known to go against the odds. But right now, ascend are playing out of their minds. Healer's checked on early. Tries to play safety. Defo wants to close that gap. He wants to be the one to make the difference. And all he feels is the full force from Kiles. And now they're out of positions. They're out of sorts. Chados, what'd you do with this? He's talking to Kizua. Might even get caught by Cena. Oh he my will. god, Cena's just unleashed as well. So they've now opened up that A site. This instantly dwindles Gambit's numbers down to three. Nats, Redgar, exactly and Chronicle. How do you hold on to this? The ult comes in, the information free-flowing now. Chronicle tries to walk up. It's going to be Zeke and Starzo on the other side. They're keeping their composure. They're going to try and play him through heaven. Nats is on the other side of this, but all he has is that Spectre. He's already seen one pass. CNN finds one. It's all on Redgar now. 
And this is what it comes down to. One more man to stand. And Redgar, all the hours you've put in, thousands upon thousands, is down to a 1v4. And it's done! Ascend! Are your